welcome back to another vlog. I'm Arquita Bianca, if it's your first time here. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So today is a work day, but work day is gonna look a little bit different. I have got to get everything established for the new routines for the season, um, both for fashion and then also for my center. So that means waking up at a different time, workout's gonna alter a little bit different. I'm gonna show you guys how I plan and kind of get prepared for that. So how we're gonna balance what we're doing for the shows and the upcoming like fashion month, because even though it looks different and a lot of things are virtual, there is still a fashion month. Like fashion is still very much so alive. It just looks a little bit different. So in order to do that, I have got to, if you see behind me, like, look at y'all. Yes. Hi, outfit. I'll show you that in a second. It is crazy up in here. Like, because I need to switch out um, <laughs> my fall clothes, winter clothes. I kind of do that all at the same time. I don't, like, I, so I live in Virginia Beach for those of you that do not know. And for us, some days here, it's still like 80 degrees, even though it's October. So I can't um, completely put up all of my summer clothes, but this is of course transitioning all of that summer fall wear and keeping what will maybe go through winter. So I'm going to be taking all of those items out today and just going ahead and doing it because the reality is Work is crazy and it's busy and I won't have another time to do it. Like I'm on to the next project after this. So I figured I'd take you guys with me. So we are going to plan the day. Already worked out. You saw that. And um, yeah, come on. Let's do it together. Okay, you guys. So today is going to be a raw vlog. So <laughs> me and my hair up from going in and running this morning. So I'm going to go out and run errands and take my hair down and all of that later. But while I'm cleaning... It stays up on rollers and I'll show you the rollers that I use um, later because those are the ones that I actually sleep in. I don't put heat on my hair every day. <sighs> the goal is to look high maintenance and not be high maintenance. So I do a lot of things at night so that way when I wake up in the morning, it doesn't take me long to get ready. I've mentioned to you guys before that when I leave the house in the morning, which I'm at my facility by... 8 8 30 I have to be ready for everything I need to do for the whole entire day so that means I'm glammed um, I've packed all of my meals I have done and packed the car for everything I need to do so whether I'm doing stuff with my kids or whether it's for fashion and when I say my kids I mean my facility kids but or if it's something for fashion like it's got to be with me because I don't come back home sometimes until like nine o'clock at night so it just all depends but I wanted to show you how I store my winter clothes and then switch over to what my summer clothes are going to go into after I take out my winter clothes and this is also a cool tip for traveling so when I go to fashion week you guys see all of the outfits and accessories and shoes and things that I have to bring with me yes sometimes I am very fortunate enough to be dressed by a designer once I go to New York, but you can imagine I still have to take a lot of stuff with me to New York, so I use these. All right, so these are the bags that I use to store my winter clothes, and then of course when I switch over to the next season, they are the magic bags, and so like, they're the vacuum bags. And if you haven't heard of them, they are amazing. So I don't put my clothes up and when I say put them up, like they stay in the closet room, or excuse me, they stay in the closet of my closet room. So like this is my my room, it's our second master bedroom in our house, but in here I have another closet. So you can see that door right there. So that's like a small walk-in closet. So all of this stuff stays in there and I probably have, I wanna say between realistically between like 10 15 bags that i'm pulling out right now i think this is like what uh one two three four five six maybe yep six for that one that's over there so i'm pulling out six right now i pulled out about eight yesterday <laughs> I, th literally these are everywhere in my house they're under beds they're in closets you know but they're awesome because i can store larger jackets and things and then take them out get them cleaned if it needs to be tailored then I'll go into that so these are the 
magic bags. They come in a bunch of different like combinations. You can get what size you need. Guys, they're super affordable. Um, this four combo flat is one jumbo, one large, one medium flat, and then one travel flat. So I, when I'm going to fashion week, will vacuum my clothes and put them in my suitcase, especially for fashion week in September. Now you guys know, for fashion week in September, you can imagine, I have to take so much stuff with me because I'm layering. I would love to be able to just wear like a huge Wolfman Jack, you know, jacket into a show, but the reality is, is that that of course hides, you know, the clothes. So you want your fashion to be able to be seen from outside in instead of inside out. So I will vacuum all of those larger things. And when the guys pick me up in the morning, they're like, how do you only have one suitcase? Yeah, again, look high maintenance, don't be high maintenance. So they always think that I'm gonna have the most bags out of all of them. And they usually have more bags than me because of camera equipment and all of that stuff. And my vlog stuff just fits in my suitcase. So I usually will have one major suitcase, one my larger one, and then I'll have like, I guess a carry on so to speak and that has like my laptop and you know all of the gear that I need to kind of do what we're doing right now. So I'm going to put all of this stuff up and switch it out, see what needs to go to the tailor, what needs to be cleaned and all that good stuff and then I'll check back in. <laughs> checking back in so this is on the tv this is the incredibles i'm a pixar girl i love pixar i love disney i love just any of those things fun fact my favorite movie of all time is the grinch has to be the one with jim carrey love him he did an incredible job so all right let's check out the jackets and then i'll go over what is my process for kind of bringing them back into my wardrobe so this rack here stays in you know right by the window in the actual room part of my closet room and it's just going to hold all my outerwear so you see it's crazy it's jam-packed um i do have the option of extending this bar which is nice i picked this up at there's a, a store called the store for stores here local in virginia it's in norfolk and they are no longer open. I think they're still online though, but this was a used rack and I paid, I wanna say maybe like 45, between 45 and 60, I, I purchased two for them. So we have this single rack here at my house and then there's a double rack at the facility and that one is for the kids like performance wear, when we have to do production days, photo shoots, then that one's there for people to be able to use. So this is gonna hold all my outerwear. So that way when I have, I mean, just when I need to wear a coat each day or when stylists come over to do shoots and we need to do pulls, if I'm loaning, all that good stuff, this is where the magic will happen for that. And then also you guys, my beauty fridge came in. So I set it here. This little cute guy. So I like 
cute Halloween things. I'm not into a bunch of like scary, bloody, gory, all of that. It's got to be cute and pretty. So this little guy is from the Dollar Tree and of course he was pink so I had to get him. And then he is also from the Dollar Tree. And then these are my wedding flowers. So I just, I keep them stored so that way, you know, I just see them every day. And then the rose petals are from the Dollar Tree also. And then this guy I ordered from Amazon and I'll go through, I'm going to do a monthly faves video that's coming probably in the next two weeks and then I'll kind of show you how I use this but I have loved this so far so I got that from Amazon but before then of course I'll link it below um, on the blog so then that way you can you know if you're interested but I use it as my beauty virgin I'll go over that more later so now now step two of number 537 is to I grab these bins these are actually also from the Dollar Tree and these guys are going to hold, you know, just lighter fares that I own. Like this, all the shawls that I have, um, the special occasion shawls, I'm going to roll them up and put them in here. This will go on the shelving unit that's in my closet. And then this right here is all of the like small um, shirts, maybe like the see-through things that I have to wear like a, you know, a tank or a cami or something under that don't necessarily need to take up room in my closet because you guys... I know I have a closet room, I know I have a closet, but I still don't have enough space for everything. It's crazy. So I'm doing some new storage options this year that kind of allow me to decrease all of that and make sure that my racks don't fall apart. And then step three will be putting all of those summer items into the bags and I'll show you how I um, vacuum those and store them. Break my heart if you want to Well, I really don't mind That's how much I want you Yeah, yeah I know it's only been three weeks And you're a little insecure But let me tell you what I'm feeling Okay, so we're going to change gears a little bit um, My kids have a game today my facility kids you guys i'll probably say my kids a lot during the videos that we have together just remember i don't have any physical kids myself that i have birthed yet possibly um but my facility kids are just like my kids so i'm very much so in their lives and stalking their social medias too so make sure y'all don't be acting up on Instagram because Miss Marquita is on there and she is leaving I statements um, on all of your posts that might look a little cray. But I love you. All right, so I'm going to go and go to their baseball game. Yes, COVID has completely um, pretty much put their season to end, but they're going to have a one-time game. Of course, it's outside. I have my mask. We're going to social distance and all of that good stuff and I think I'm gonna grab lunch too and glow glow is gonna be there so let's get out get some fresh air and then I'm gonna go back and finish cleaning that room you guys have been in there since eight o'clock this morning so and it's like one all right let's take a break come with me okay so I'm on my way to the game yes I need to stop and pick up something to eat and so I thought I'd get on the basic train and try some pumpkin spice latte something 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 and so the there is no starbucks on the way of where i'm going but there's a duncan so i'm like okay i'll just try it from duncan i'm not a connoisseur of pumpkin anything pumpkin is not necessarily my favorite thing however i eat like i'm an equal equal opportunity eater so roll up to duncan excuse me this is the pumpkin swirl original blend yeah it's not bad but i will tell you the person that was taking my order i don't know if it was the manager or somebody he was hella angry like it was just literally straight to the point what do you want you know whatever have you so i pulled up to the window i'm like is he upset she's like oh he's just had a really long day i looked at my watch you guys it's 109 which means i was there at 104 it's 104 in the afternoon she was like yeah we get here sometimes like 6 a.m and i said you know i'm thinking to myself chick-fil-a has like a line 
around the building. Chick-fil-A holds up traffic. Like if you have a Chick-fil-A in your area, like you probably know. Around in our area, they literally have people directing traffic for Chick-fil-A so that way they don't like suck up um, you know, too much time with people trying to get in and out of it. And the customer service is amazing no matter what time you go. So they're completely worth the the price. So I'm thinking to myself, girl, if you having a rough day at one o'clock, oh my goodness, how are you going to feel at 5 p.m.? So anyway, so in order to not be the girl that's hangry, like I want to be yelling ignorantly for my kids. So I said, let me grab a snack. And I probably should have brought a chair, but I didn't think about it. Oh, by the way, this hat is Seven Crash. I got it from New York Fashion Week. Shout out to them. They gave um, this hat away when I went to their show as a gift. So might as well. Shirt, just regular from Boohoo. Just wearing a regular pair of jeans. And um, we're going to go have some fun. So I have my sandwich. Thanks, Duncan. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. This, of course, is not sponsored, but I love good customer service and Chick-fil-A is always on it. So I don't know if I'll be going to Duncan again. Okay, now let's go watch some baseball. Bye-bye. Hey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, 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 So <laughs> it is the same day. No, we didn't rewind the vlog. I went to the baseball game. I'm back home. And now I want to finish. <laughs> Look, I'm about to fire up another movie. Um, I want So this unit right here um, was given to me a very long time ago. This actually lights up. I'm going to take out this shelf and have my two jewelry stands right there. I don't know if I want to move my beauty fridge. So, you know, the beauty fridge is right there. But this is way more stable. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But in here, I want to put all of my, like, old, um, I won't even say old because it's just, like, maybe one or two seasons. But all of my items that are given to me from fashion week we've got some really really beautiful gifts that are given and i'll show you guys a couple um, as i'm putting them in storage but i'm thinking that can hold all of my extra beauty items things that i'm unboxing things that i'm sent that i just am not using yet so that way you know because i mean my bathroom like it just can't all fit in there so that is what is on my to-do list next. I am so determined, like everybody else went out to eat lunch after the game, I'm so determined to get this done because what I have to do later, like all my planning and then everything tomorrow is pending on me getting done with this. And tomorrow, you guys, I just really wanna watch football. So, here we go, part two. Okay, so this is the inside of that storage unit. So you see all of this, this is, either nails that I have collected or sent. And then of course, items that have been sent to me. And then this is going to be the New York Fashion Week pile that needs to go in there. So just to show you one of the examples of what I'm talking about. So Lawrence and Chico is one of the best shows. And when I say best shows, it for just a, num a number of reasons. I mean, these two designers are just, they're amazing people. Um, and they give the best gifts. Okay, I don't wait. Oh, so this, they always collaborate with Marie Dalger to give away makeup. So, and it's like custom made for them. I don't think that this is something that you can purchase um, outside of it, but this is what was sitting on my seat. And it's a blush palette. And I haven't used it yet, but I'm thinking I might do maybe some looks. I love this. So Halloween, you guys, Halloween's about to be off the chain. So I will show you that. I don't know if I'll be able to open this with one hand. We're gonna try, hold on. I left my tripod at the studio, so I don't have it. Da, 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 da. Let's see, ooh, okay. So this was from a different season. This was on my seat. And these are all lippies. Look. So dizzy, silent, scream out, sins. So, and I don't know if I can. I, I'm This part I'm not going to be able to do, you guys. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys. Make sure you watch my stories because I'll actually do. I never did like a formal unboxing for all of these because when I get home, it's just focused on writing. Um, and then this was from another season. This was on my seat. Actually, I think this was the first ever season that I attended. And these are all eyeshadows. 
Isn't that nice? I mean, they just really take so much time and effort. Um, this is just the gift. Like, you know, it's crazy. And then this was from my first season of attending Song Jong Wong's fashion show. And I love this. Look at the pink inside. So beautiful. So, of course, that bag's coming out. You'll see that on the blog and just me wearing it in general. And then this is another season of Song Jong Wong. I love the signature pink inside. So this is, it's just such a, it feels good too. So, and then of course I have an extra one of these. So I think maybe it's time for a giveaway, right? So stay tuned to the blog and I will figure out how I'm gonna give this away. Okay, so this finally still looks very, very full, but at least I know where everything is. So I have all of my, um, again, those are all makeup from Lawrence and Chico's show. These containers are from Dollar Tree, which is awesome. So this is eyebrow stuff, extra um, shaving applicators, um, you know, eyelashes. These are hair items. And then this right here is actually a crystal water bottle that I was given um, from fashion palette for New York Fashion Week um, and then just other gift boxes that are back there these are all extra lips that have been, been sent from companies that I haven't tried yet so look forward to seeing those on the blog coming up and then these things these are just two makeup cases but this I am working on my like office area so this is what it looks like right now hi you guys hold on wait wait okay there you go so this picture right here is going to go up um these came in from amazon so those are going to go on the christmas tree that's going to be in my office yay so i'm going to do a, a setup video with that this chair is going to go away um but those office items that are right there will end up going in the storage unit that i'm going to purchase so still looking for that you know shipping is kind of crazy right now with amazon and just companies in general so not really in a rush this whole room is going to be evolving but this shelf is going to come down so that way that can be pushed back this is extra jewelry so I'm going to move all of that so I'll check back in after this is done but this is probably going to be the last thing that I'll do today and then I'm going to clean vacuum and all of that and then I have some other deep clean areas that I'm going to do on another day so this will all be done this week excited hey you guys all right, so it is 7.05. I got up and worked out this morning at 7 o'clock. Usually I get up at 5. I actually overslept this morning. So, and you know what? Got up at 7 and worked out and literally didn't feel any different than when I wake up at 5 o'clock. So I'm like, you know, I could have been up two hours early and gotten two hours more of stuff done. Nevertheless, I digress. So I'm going to sit down, I'm going to plan, but I wanted to go through my planner with you guys so you can see exactly how I am setting my planner up. This week I am prepping for a fashion show and then also some designer interviews that are going to happen both in person and then also virtually and then a editorial shoot coming up very soon. So the editorial shoot's not this week, but I will keep you guys updated with all the things that are going on with that because that is later on this month. And then um, also going to do some really cool things for just Halloween and all those things. It's like we can't go outside, so we might as well just have fun with fashion and doing other stuff. So, and then I'm definitely going to be catching some of Fashion Month um, Paris. It's so sad, can I tell you? <sighs> when you get invites for shows that are in you know like for fashion month in different countries like Paris like I had some invitations come in for Paris Fashion Week and you know that traveling is limited and it's just so sad and I know that the pandemic is so much more important safety is so much more important so I'm not this is not me complaining this is just me saying hmm wouldn't you be sad wouldn't you want to be in Paris right now it's kind of how I feel. So I am so fortunate to be invited to these things and I'm just going to take it as gratitude 
and I am also grateful that I still get to participate in them even if it is virtually. So I'll be covering some things for Paris Fashion Week coming up and I'm really excited about that so I'll share all of that in upcoming blogs soon. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the most simply that I can put it. So I've got four major tabs up top. One is Biola Fusion, which you know is our creative arts and dance facility. Then, so that has everything from our new academic division that has everything from bills that need to be paid, marketing, sales schedule, emails that have to go out to parents, uh, just anything that you can think of. Um, things that I need to tell our team members that work with us dates that we're launching things i mean just everything that happens within that building and if you're not um, familiar our building is a little bit over 2500 square feet so we've got multiple studios we have a media room it's it's a bunch of things um, my office is there we have a salon opening up the um, middle of this month and then also some other surprises if things open up i'm working on a new business so this this tab is major <laughs> then the mb brand which of course is this youtube channel it is my instagram everything that i personally do with um fashion all that stuff goes there so when i'm launching things i mean it's just again it's kind of a duplicate from byla fusion but it's everything that's going on with just me personally then my personal tab is health wellness meal prep um, everything that has to do with my, you know, house health. And so I'll say like, you know, maybe whether it's my husband's migraines or, you know, things of that nature that will go on personal. Um, then home is going to be my zone cleaning and uh, of course bills, keeping track of, you know, like our cars and, you know, things that have to be done for that. So between this book and you know what guys I'm actually doing pretty good because she could be chunkier right I know so I've really kind of taken out the fluff and um, only stuck to you know like the things that I really need to do so I plan daily weekly monthly you know so I'm using the of course you can't give away anything so let me see if I got some blank ones I don't but the new happy planner daily planning sheets I have some of those I use those and then um, I use also the sorry guys I've got some top secret stuff so but I use this as my weekly overview and this just lets me know like so on a daily basis I'll put in maybe what my top three is if I have um, certain team members that are coming into work then I'll usually try to notate that in red if I have um, instructors that are doing private lessons if we have to have room change over different room setups if our academic classroom needs to be changed into something else if we have studio rental you know I kind of write all of that in there um, also what vlog is going live, what podcast is going live, anything that I have to remember to do, birthdays, just everything. Like this page just vomits. I really don't even worry about it being pretty. I just worry about making sure that I stay on top of what's happening, you know, like each hour. And then I can show you here. I'll show you the, the December layout. So this kind of will show you what in a nutshell so I'm gonna this is of course my bio fusion um, planner and so just like this where it says students host parents for class I will write down all of the small things like that sales schedule you know spirit week themes payroll when that has to be done and so that looks like that then for my MB brand look I really hope that they come out with another one of these planners because this is the last month that I have. It doesn't end at the um, the end of the year because when I purchased it, I actually redated the November and December. But look at this. Shoes are always the answer. Who cares what the question is? I know. I know that's right. That's exactly how I feel. So, of course, this is a... Not an hourly, but... I just list you know pretty much what I need to do and so right here I'll list out if I have a 
blog going live, if my email is going out, um, if I'm filming that day. And then I usually like to write down what I'm filming, you know, if I need new props or if I need to wear a certain thing, if I need to make sure to not forget to mention someone, I'll, you know, write those down in this column. And it's really, again, not pretty. I don't decorate it and I just check it off. I buy pretty planners so I don't have to do a whole bunch of like decorating and all of that. Then a new insert that I made is this one and I just use happy planner stickers this is my own hand so I'm going to be listing out and I just got done kind of altering my diet just a little bit so I can hit some fitness goals this year nothing major I love my body I love the way that it looks but you know I want to take the best care of it that I can and so here I'll list out you know like for dairy I always want to have almond milk in the house um, and I also made this because of course with the pandemic Stores have been running out of stuff. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing that, but I mean, you know, we went through the whole no toilet paper. And so I don't know what that's going to look like with flu season coming. So I want to start stocking up even before we get to like Thanksgiving and all of that. Like I just want to have things on hand. And so that way I don't have to worry about it. And my husband doesn't have to worry about us being out of anything. So then this is going to be my personal section. And I'm showing you random dates because I want to be able to show you without any chicken scratch and <laughs> go over you know how I'm using it so this is the wellness planner and I love this because I of course use it to notate um, things for my home but also things for myself so what book I'm reading um, down here I use this as a journal so it just a couple of notes of how the day was how I was feeling I find this super helpful because you know if you're a person who might you know be in a space in your life where you think like there's more bad days than there are good this is really good to just kind of be super real with yourself and then look back at it like i file all of these i put them on disc after i've used them my other months my previous months and then i can kind of go back and be like you know what that wasn't such a bad month marquita you're okay you're gonna be okay and um so that just kind of helps encourage me you know and everything and then Kind of going to the back, I have some extra stickers right here. Hello, gorgeous. We should always have that, right? And then this is my current vision board and then also a AM and PM routine. And I made this with Happy Planner stickers as well. So just all of, oh, and these, I always get asked about these. These are from Walmart. So you can get them in the like stationary, um, you know section but I when I'm making something like this that I'm going to like reuse over and over and over again then I really like to sit down make it pretty and make it something that I'm gonna want to look at and then I have this is my vision board and then I have my workday themes right there so the vision board I'm gonna do over again because I want to do a kind of like life all over vision board and not necessarily like a 2020 because I'm sure a lot of us feel like we want to throw 2020 in the trash <laughs> but um I don't necessarily feel that way but I want to just kind of do an overall life goals and just throw them all up there so anyway that is how I am planning and that is how I'm doing my routines I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope that you like and subscribe and I will see you for more fashion in the next one. Bye guys.